Hi everyone, thanks for watching another one of Power Jumps videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. So uh, this video, we're going to quickly go through E3 or Zookin Connectivity Browser, um, the same creators of E3 series. Uh, this project or this product is independent of E3 series. Uh, however, it takes advantage of a proper ECAD drawing. Uh, it can also uh, import any other ECAD that has an export to KBL. So, um, you know, if you're using some other software, um, albeit, of course, I might be biased, but not as good as E3 series, um, you can still take advantage of this tool, which is pretty awesome, I think. Uh, cool. It depends on, obviously, the uh, complexity and the detail of the KBL file, but of course, um, you know, if you've got E3 series, then you can get everything. So in the connectivity browser, in this case, I've got the demo. Uh, you can actually, uh, if you like, I'll explain it a bit later, but you can actually get the demo yourself and have a play. So in our demo, I can come over here to our quick search in our specific product, product and I can say, for example, I want to look at the battery. I can find the device designation, and I can load up the first component, and it'll load up my battery in my project. So currently I have a battery, and I can click on the battery, and in my screen here, I can see the battery. Um, it, in this case, it's actually got a 3D model. Um, again, depends on the level of detail that you have, but uh, of course, you can get that across. Um, and then from here, we have two options, load or extract. If I hit extract, um, it will actually expand it out again. So in this case, it expanded it out. So every in this case, it's got two terminals. It actually regenerates a drawing of the connectivity um, based on the component. So it goes to two islets here, um, and then it will uh, go to this views. Similarly, I can click the expand a connector, and it'll expand to show me how many pins, or I can double click a connector, and it will bring in everything connected to it. So it has one pin, but it's got two cores spliced out um, to this module. Um, same deal, I can expand the connector and click on a core pin, double click it if I want to. It'll bring the component. Similarly, I can click on the connector here, uh, which is this one here. I can hit uh, load or extract. If I go load, it will actually just bring in the connector by itself again. But if I hit extract, it will open up that connector and bring everything that way. I can hit the module itself, hit extract and it will open up everything connected to that module as you can see um, it's not like <clears throat> your typical uh, ecad drawing where you know you draw it a certain way so these drawings are all automatically generated uh, based on selection so if i come back to this um, main display um, like so um, i can hit extract and you'll see it'll redraw that component uh, and everything attached to it. Um, so if you are fault finding, you know, you have an issue with this headlamp, you can load it um, and then you can expand the connector. Uh, it looks like a tail lamp in the image. Um, you can see everything is connected. I can either find what looks to be the um, can high and low. You can see the schematic side of it here. Uh, can high, can low. You can see it's high, high lots of pins. Um, it goes to my splices, or I can go, you know, this um, main connector. I can expand through each pin um, and then find through. So now in this case, we also have this option here net. So if I select this particular uh, net, you'll see it actually highlights everything with that uh, potential or signal, as we call it in E3. If I hover over this button, you can see enable net mode, which simultaneously selects all wires. So it'll tell me here the compatibility, compatibility control is connected into this um, X83 connector, pin 22, uh, just as graphically shown. But it also shows me this goes to the outputs of the um, uh, this rear zone module or ECU. So you can uh, plus and minus open up, but again, you know, if there's an issue in the ECU, you can click it, uh, either expand it out, but of course you can hit load or you can hit extract 
um, and it'll redraw based on that particular module that you selected. So it's pretty easy to trace things from start to finish, um, again, based on how you may or may not need. Um, <clears throat> and it's pretty flexible. Um, you know, you want to look at the front zone, uh, hit extract, and same deal. It makes the front zone front the primary. You can see your little uh, Y colors as well. Um, there are wire information as far as the um, resistance, uh, insulation, size of the wire, the wire ID, um, main color and trace color. Uh, so all the information, so it's FLRY. Um, it's got an option, a length, a part number, uh, outer diameter. So all your information is all there. Again, depends on the level of detail in the KBL format, but of course, if you use E3 series, you're able to achieve every single level of detail. Same thing goes for a connector. If I connect this X55 connector, uh, you can see it's a DTO4 DT four pin, um, and it's a CE02 variant. Um, so you can see exactly what's going on. Uh, in this case, it's got a link to the supplier website, um, so you can follow the link. Um, but again, you can go through the, every sort of level of detail, what's happening, what's not, and then again, sort of see something like that, which is showing up in this um, radio to control. So um, yeah, it is, I think it's pretty brilliant. Um, the uses of this is sort of, I guess, specific to your challenges. Um, from what I found, uh, fault finding, you know, service, um, installation, even just design overview, you know, in, in a E3 design or any other ECAD format, we go across multiple pages. So, you know, we use a lot of sheet references, which give us logical connections, but um, the ability to select the component and just trace a sort of signal without crowding in the information, uh, of course, that's very useful. Um, yeah, it, it makes life pretty easy and pretty quick. So um, the other, the other beneficial of, or benefit to this is the fact that this is uh, it can be cloud-based as well as local. So in this case, it's sitting on this really cloud, I guess, in this website. Um, the Zoom demo. Um, and yeah, so any, you know, any of your service people can have access to this particular portal or file or whatever it might be. Um, you can obviously add permissions as far as what people have, what project and things like that. So, um, that is also helpful. Um, yeah. So, you know, if you think of a, a car or a truck manufacturer, um, you know, anyone in service or in assembly or anywhere else can have access. Obviously, if they've got a touch screen, then they can use it on a touch screen on, a, uh, you know, in front of a vehicle. Um, follow through, fault find relatively easy. Any auto electricians, anyone else, um, you, you know, the manufacturer, the OEM would have done all the hard work uh, as far as design. If a product is released and you want, you know, rather than regenerating service manuals and making it pretty complicated. Uh, this is the easiest way to get information that is already detailed in a proper ECAD design and transferring it into a really easy, visible, simple to read uh, format. Um, anyone can pick this up and follow along and understand what's happening. And like I said, because it can be cloud-based, it can be put on a website or any, any uh, manufacturer portal um, and anyone with the right access can can access it and use it without any sort of complexity or anything like that. So, um, like I said, pretty brilliant. Um, of course, if you've got any questions, uh, don't hesitate, comment or send us an email. Um, but if you want to get your hands dirty, you can simply come over here and go to e 3 If you Google anyways, E3 um, Connectivity Browser. Uh, and in if you scroll down a little bit, there's this button here that says uh, Evaluation. And you can hit register. So all you need to do to here is if you register your details like below, um, you can simply put in your details and um, hit submit and it'll send the form out and hopefully you can have a play. Um, so hopefully this has been useful. Of course, if you've got any questions, uh, 
don't hesitate. Thank you.